Well, today's job, what I did was I built a stone ring around a fire pit. This is the metal insert. I'm going to show you how I did it. Well, today we're going to put in a little fire pit. That's the steel part. We're just going to put a little stone around it. And it's going to kind of match this stone like that. And see, I put this patio in oh, about six years ago and this, these stone piers. So we're going to do something to match that. What I'm going to do first, drive a stake right in the middle of this, and then the owner's got to come and approve that. Then I'll, I'll dig it out. So dig these stones out of here. So we dug it out, and the owner says that's where he wants it. So now I'm just using this door wall, they call it, and I'm going to go around to hold the bottom course from moving so the whole thing will stay together. So I'm kind of bending it to where I want it to be, like this. See that? I'm going to lay my stone on top of that. Right now I'm just going to dig it out so it's flat and, and we'll put some gravel down to make it all flat and then we'll go from there. I'm getting this plastic out of here so I can get down to the dirt and dig it out flat. Flatten this out here. Get this all flattened out. I got this all relatively level, so now I'm going to go get some different gravel, fill it in. Gravel. I'm going to put gravel down in Pennsylvania because the gravel will keep the frost from haven at. back in like this see if we're level with that not too bad not too bad now let's look what's going on I measured this out I made sure this was level this way this was level this way and I put a knot right there to go around and this thing right here is out of round. So when we make our little bit of a thing we're going to put another knot here and that knot is going to determine where we put our stone away from from the metal. So if we stay an inch away like that, the metal will have a little reason to expand. And then we're going to come over here and maybe make our wall 13 inches. So we're going to put another knot here. And that going to be where our wall is. Okay. Just like that. And we got that all done. And just for the heck of it. Go around it and tamp it a little bit. Our wire is going to go around it. It's 
just going to hold that whole wall together on the bottom. Now what I'm doing is I'm using two buckets of plain masonry sand and we're using a bucket of Portland. So then we're going to mix it up dry a little bit add the water and mix it up marked up so what I'm gonna do pick this off because we know where that goes and I'm gonna start bring this down a little bit and I'm gonna start laying my stone I want to lay it so that uh, oh, where's the hammer Maybe. To that dot right there. I'm gonna go around doing that all the way around the whole thing and make it fit. See that? Just like that. We're not gonna make a big deal out of it. We just want to make it work. There's another one. It's pretty good. Now we got to do the inside line, which isn't gonna show a lot. Just like that. Maybe we'll turn this one this way. Like that. Then we're going to get a junk pieces, put them in the middle, like that. And we're going to go all the way around. It doesn't matter how big they are, no one's going to see them. And we want to leave a little air, air space. So, if it ain't that good looking, you make it good looking. Yeah. That. Take the junk right here. Put it on the inside, just like that. There's another one. Again. I couldn't get crazy with it. I'm just gonna make it work. I like it better this way. pretty good following our pattern just like this going around the sides finding a decent one putting it in see that that wire is going to hold that whole bottom together now I got my circle in just like the aliens did down in Cusco Peru Good thing I showed you this so you think it was aliens. Perfect. Fits right in there. We got a little space around it. Next day we come back, we'll start around the sides. Now this is a pile of stone. The owner has laying around. You can 
see it's kind of seen, this one. So, get some pieces off of that. See them after these smaller pieces. We don't have any. So that's what I'm trying to do. Get the smaller pieces so it's easier to work with. So we're coming back. This is the second time we're coming back. And there's the fire pit. And we're standing on the patio over here. And there's the fire pit. So where are you going to put all the best stone? I'm going to put it where people are looking. And then the junk there's stuff that ain't that good because we don't have that much we're going to put around back so that's the way we're going to approach this today now you can see what i'm doing taking my best stones and this is a this stone is like a sandstone it comes from scranton pennsylvania up on a quarry it's called godino's quarry see that i'm always planning my next my next shot, all I'm doing, see it's easy to kind of crush and it's easy to kind of face. That's where that one's going to go. Some of the stones, it seems, see that? I could break it and make it the way I feel. What I'm doing is I'm getting this even with the top of that. That's why I'm, I'm using this uh, level here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around the whole thing first. And stones like this that are kind of garbage, they're the ones I'm going to put in the back. Because no one's going to see it except the fire. I got the outside in the front using the best stones I got. You know why? Because I don't really have any good stones left. So where am I going to put my stones? Well, it's in the back where no one sees them. And inside around where the fire is going to be where no one sees them. And I'm saving all my skinny ones. See all these skinny ones? I'm going to show you why I'm saving all the skinny ones. Looking for the best ones I got left. So that... We'll go around here at the end. And I'm fitting them. Any way they go. I always turn a stone. If you get a stone that don't fit this way, try it this way. Just the best one you can get. So it fits this way, got my little string, I'm good there, and see what I'm doing? I'm trying to make it even with that, it's a little high, I'm not too worried about that yet, so I'm just going to keep going. I got it filled in, I'm going to cut myself off some strips of wire mesh, and ask me, Mike, why are you doing wire mesh? I'm going to put a ring around the top. That's kind of going to hold that together a little better. We are now ready to start cementing. So these are about the two highest stones. I'm going to go right here. Put a little Portland in. Lay my stone. And then I'll lay this one on this side. that kind of get that down a little bit like that and get my line check it with the knot there and stay away over there and then you see this stuff right here that to me is going to hold this together a little better what I want to do is get some junk in here to kind of choke this up like that. And then I'm going to put this down in there like this. I'm going to put my little bit of wire mesh in here like this. That's kind of going to hold that together a little better. And then, let's put this one in, 
just like that and we'll pick one off of here that'll go in like that see that and then we fill the joints in between them now we don't wet nothing first people see me wet and stuff that's only for like stucco and things like that this kind of stuff no you don't wet it just put it in there like that so now we got our start just like that looking at it from the other side a little bit put her cement down a little stiff like I told you not good enough Put the extra down, see that? Just like that. And this one, let's see, we got some junk. Put some junk in there to save cement and let the airspace go through. Like that. Put it in. Put it in. That looks good there. Now we know. And we're going to be continuing with this wire mesh so it stays together. So we're going to, going to overlap it as we go, like that. Now we're going to raise this one. Put some junk down in there. You don't want the cement to all go down in there. Like that. Put this one in. Keep it a little stiff. Just about like that. This one in. See that? Wire mesh down in there like that. A good bend's pretty good. It's gonna hold that together pretty good. Now we're gonna check it. See that? That one's a little low. A little bit just like that that's good a little bit in here like this now you know why I've been saving them skinny ones look at that that's gonna go in there perfect like that see that just like that in here looks like it sunk a little bit so we'll put a little more in there check it with the rope there's our knot this one could come out a little bit that's good just come in a little bit in a little bit better don't like it that one I can live with that's the one gonna go in there just like that a little while start to dry up that's what I want so get all the it kind of flattened out a little bit 
If I see any bad spots, I could pick it up and put it down. Here we get our sponge and our water. Remember, and just start sponging it off. That's it. Don't make a big deal out of it. Sponge off the stones and just lightly, lightly go over the joints like that. See? Show your stones. That's what you want to do. And you want to flatten out your joints. It's a little wet yet. But you're getting the idea. Use your thumb. off you are sometimes you don't it's like a timing thing you got to know when you want to do it how you want it to look at the end then you should be fine remember you get these cars from old couches and car seats you don't go bite them see it's starting to uh, Starting to show up now. I think uh, I'm gonna let this go till it gets a little drier, and then come back and hit it again. I'll continue on with my my cementing. We are continuing on with our circle and. Things seem to be working out pretty decent. You gotta change a couple things as you go because like everything in life, nothing's working out perfect. Other than that, we're finishing our circle up. Now we have our circle in, we're waiting for it to dry up. I'm gonna go around and get some of these out of here. See that cement? Get a stick, whatever. A little cement and then get some pieces put it in there to fill that in. You see what I mean? You got to fake it. Then you don't see that cement. Just shove a couple pieces in there. It's a lot tighter. Some down here on the bottom. It keeps the ra uh, copper neck rattlesnakes from getting in. And that's it. Over here. Put, see, put a little piece in. Hide that cement. Well, we're going to see if we can get this out easy. Well, that worked out good. And we're just going to make sure this is packed in here. That's all up on the top a little bit. So it's not sticking out. And that's it. Not worried about the inside. I'm just gonna get, just got some rocks. I'm gonna put them around the sides, four sides, because I don't, I want that uh, metal piece just like this. I'm gonna step right in here like this. I want it to sit on, on side, just like this. I want them to sit on that a little bit. And the reason I want that is so the air goes from underneath, down in here, through the wall, underneath, and feeds the feeds fire from inside. Another question you're going to ask is why the metal ring? Because when this fire starts, this metal ring is going to expand. It's going to break the stonework apart if I don't have space between it. That's why we built it like this. I'm going to talk about that job a little bit. There's a million ways to build a fire pit. You can do anything you want. Most days anymore, they put a piece of metal in because the metal expands and it contracts. 
if it's too hot of a fire and the stones are wet, sometimes the stones will explode. Anybody who's been to a campground will see that. So when you build something like that out of masonry, people are going to be throwing logs and all this stuff on it. That's why I used wire underneath to hold the bottom together. I use stucco wire mesh on top to keep the top together. If you ever look at a set of railroad tracks, there's no footers on the railroad tracks. They put all gravel, then they put the uh, tracks on top of the gravel. It doesn't expand, it doesn't contract, the water goes right through it. Same thing with a fire pit. If it rains and everything, you don't want a footer down there. You want the water to go down and through it. So it's just a little fire pit. The reason we did that is years ago I built a fountain for that guy in the middle of his, his driveway and he wanted something to mimic that. So you can do anything you want, just another way to do it. Hope you enjoy the videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock and that's it.